after the Yankees have started 5-0 for the first time since 1992. I want to talk about one of the reasons why this is happening. A lot of people want to talk about the offense. To me, I think the pitching has been a major reason why this has happened. What's going on, guys? It's the King of 161st Street, and I'm back with another video, and two guys have severely impressed me over these first five games which is the first rotation through the starting rotation first guy on the list new free agent acquisition and part of the current culture shift marcus stroman i was thoroughly impressed with what i saw in this game against houston going over 100 pitches going six innings giving up zero earned runs yes he gave up three runs off of errors but again those were unearned if oswaldo doesn't throw the ball into the dirt that run doesn't score yes he did make a mistake off of the volpe throw overall pitching wise this was an outstanding performance and a performance that is very sustainable for playing in yankee stadium he is a guy who is predominantly sinker heavy and that sinker has movement on it every time he's pinpointing on the outer part of the plates he was absolutely fantastic with that sinker and what that caused was a 55 percent ground ball rate that is extremely high the craziest part about that is it's one of the lower points he's had in his career and yes it's one game he may be able to get it higher than that but look at how ridiculous that is didn't have one barrel hit on him had a little bit of hard contact but again a lot of that contact is on the ground and when you hit the ball on the ground it doesn't let you hit home runs in yankee stadium the short porch is a major talking point when it comes to pitchers in pinstripe that's why you want a guy like marcus stroman a guy who you know will keep the ball on the ground but not even just that it's how efficient he was like i brought up he was able to go over 100 pitches didn't really taper off in either movement or velocity He's not really a velocity guy to begin with. His sinker's usually sitting around 91. His fastball around 91, 92. He's not a high velo guy to begin with. So that's not really an issue. But the break on his pitches did not change. He was pinpointing those sinkers all night. That's the type of performance that shows me no matter what we can rely on him to come up big in clutch moments because when you have a fly ball pitcher for example you never know at that point what will happen especially when you do have a short porch a yankee stadium or even in houston with the crawford boxes and left fenway park the green monster those are all short porches when you have a fly ball pitcher you don't know when you're gonna get unlucky on one of those and that could be the difference between you making a world series and going home keeping the ball on the ground is a key factor in winning in pinstripe marcus stroman knows how to do that and he knows how to do that extremely well he keeps his pitch count very manageable throws a ton of strikes and also brings a confidence on the mound we haven't seen yes you see cole sometimes use the fist he gets hyped but in a lot of ways garrett cole looks more relieved than like confident he looks more like i did it rather than yeah that's what the fuck i did that's what marcus stroman brings marcus stroman brings a bravado uh yeah i know i'm gonna do it and i'm just gonna prove it to you right now it's key because it's creating a culture shift him with juan soto him with Verdugo. These guys are creating a culture of fuck you, we're gonna win this game. No more of this, well, we already won the series, let's kinda take a back seat. No, we're here to fucking win. That's the type of energy I get from Marcus Stroman. The amount of emotion he brings, it helps him, it fuels him and that is key he lives for big crowds like it was in houston he's going to adore yankee stadium because of it this was a performance to me that proved a ton off of this let's go to the next guy on my list luis heel has quickly shot up the ranks for me in this yankees organization starting off this spring he was supposed to be a minor league filler in spring training and start the year in the minor leagues to get his innings up he has ended up getting not even just an mlb spot but an automatic number five spot in the rotation because of how he played in spring training 
we finally got to see him in his first start in the majors since 2022 and boy do i have to tell you he might be the second best pitcher in our system at the moment without cole i saw some issues with the clark schmidt performance i saw a bunch of issues in the uh, rodon performance obviously nestor had a bad start We'll see how he comes back tomorrow. But overall, what I saw out of Luis Heal, 97 consistently able to tick up to 100. The location on his fastball, hitting corner. Never once did I see him throw a fastball in a bad spot like Rodon. Not once yes he had a few change-ups that hung a little bit to get to that change-up that change-up is one of the most nasty i have seen in years he was able to use that all night and the arizona diamondback hitters were confused they were baffled by the stuff of luis heel now at times he does need to hone it in a little bit he had that third inning where he had the bases loaded again did very well to work out of it got a little bit of a breather with the teammates coming up to him giving him confidence and came back fastball 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 he is the type of guy that can be an unsung hero for us a guy that no one else in the york in the league is going to know you're not going to ask a dodgers fan hey do you know who Luis Heal is and they're gonna be like oh yeah that's that pitcher for the Yankees but he is going to be a catalyst for this team to possibly win the division and go further because that stuff is undeniable having 99 with pinpoint control along with a changeup that is one of the nastiest I've seen in a decade this kid is special and that was a special performance i know he only went four and two thirds couldn't even get a win i disagreed with that decision i thought he should have been the one to go up against Cattell in that situation overall that performance tells me he's going to win that number five spot over clark he's going to pitch all year and barring any setbacks god forbid this guy is going to make this rotation deadly once cole gets back you're gonna have our ace you're gonna have marcus stroman somewhat improved or actually very improved at this point carlos rodon you have a nestor cortez that can hopefully bounce back after having a good fourth and fifth inning that he can build off of in that opening day start and then have the x factor luis heel as your fifth starter that rotation is nasty and it's going to be unheralded obviously because you're not going to have the big names you're not going to have the glass nows yamamoto bobby miller like the dodgers have you're not going to have what the Mets tried to do with Scherzer and Burlander. You're not going to have the name brand, but what you are going to have are a bunch of dogs that know how to compete and some of the most talented guys you will see in your life. Garrett Cole is one of the most talented pitchers you will see. Luis Heel has some of the best talent especially with some of his pitches that I have seen. You have a dog in Stroman, you have a dog in Rodon, and you have a dog in Nestor. That's a rotation that's built for the long run. Hopefully things can stay intact, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you're new here, hit that sub button. I'm on my way to a thousand subs. I want you guys to help me out here, and I will give it back to you. I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. It's just a matter of time. Follow me there if you want. I will be posting the clips here. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you back here at the end of the series. Take care and peace.